Hey everybody, I'm Dave H, the creator of Jambones. Jambones is the leading open source voice gateway platform for conversational AI providers. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how to add real-time translation to your contact center using Jambones and some of the neat new features in our upcoming release. Let's consider a scenario where we've got a call center taking calls from, let's say, Southeast Asia, where there's a variety of languages, but has an English-only speaking call center staff. In this case, I'll play the call center agent speaking English, and my colleague Juan will play a Vietnamese customer calling in to book a flight. Good morning. Thank you for calling the travel agency. I have a translator on the line to help me. Is that okay with you? Chào buổi sáng. Cảm ơn bạn đã gọi cho công ty du lịch. Tôi có một phiên dịch trực tuyến để giúp tôi. Điều đó có ổn với bạn không? Vâng, tôi đồng ý. Tôi muốn đặt một chuyến bay đến Tokyo. Yes, I agree. I want to book a flight to Tokyo. Okay, I see you are a preferred customer. Could I ask you to provide your Air Miles identification number? Được rồi. Tôi thấy bạn là một khách hàng ưa thích. Tôi có thể yêu cầu bạn cung cấp số nhận dạng dặm bay của bạn được không? Dĩ nhiên, số của tôi là 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Of course, my number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. When would you like to travel? Bạn thích du lịch khi nào? Tôi muốn bay vào ngày 17 tháng 5. I want to fly on May 17th. Okay. Do you prefer a morning or an evening flight? Được rồi. Bạn thích chuyến bay buổi sáng hay buổi tối? Buổi sáng, làm ơn. Morning, please. Okay. I have a flight at 9 a.m. It arrives in Tokyo at 4 p.m. local time. Would you like me to book that for you? Được rồi. Tôi có chuyến bay lúc 9 giờ sáng. Nó đến Tokyo lúc 4 giờ chiều giờ địa phương. Bạn có muốn tôi đặt chỗ đó cho bạn không? Vâng, xin hãy đặt giúp tôi. Yes, please book us. Okay, I've booked the flight. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Được rồi. Tôi đã đặt chuyến bay. Hôm nay tôi có thể giúp gì khác cho bạn không? Không, cảm ơn. Tạm biệt. Thank you, goodbye. You're welcome. Have a great trip. Không có gì. Chúc bạn có một chuyến đi vui vẻ. Okay, that's how it sounds. And by the way, that, that recording is unretouched in any way. Those are the actual latencies experienced on the call. Now let's look at how it's made. I created a very simple Jambones app using the Create Jambones WS API scaffold. Um, and it creates a simple app for me. And let's have a quick look at it. A lot of this is boilerplate that's set up for me. And then I've got an incoming call. I'm going to answer the call. I'm going to do something here. I'm going to turn down the volume on the call by 10 decibels. The reason is I want the translator to be heard as the primary focus, but I still want the remote party's audio to come through too. Uh, it's good for usability that I can hear, even though I'm an English speaker, I can still hear and know when the caller is speaking Vietnamese, and then I'll hear the uh, translator thereafter speak English. And I want the translator to be as if he's right in my ear and the Vietnamese speaker as if he's sort of across the room with a softer volume so that my focus is going to be on the translator. So I crank the audio signal down by 10 decibels to do that. I set up a recognizer and I'll st start transcription on this leg, the A leg. Uh, we have a new verb in 090, which is dub to add an additional track. We call them a dub track to the call. So I'm going to add an additional audio track. And this is the track into which I'll insert the translated speech. Then I'm going to out dial. I'm out dialing a WebRTC user. So we have a CPURI. I'm going to crank the audio signal down, uh, strength down on that as well. Again, the same thing. I want the caller's focus to be on the translator. It's in his ear, whereas my voice should be coming to him with a little bit of lower volume so it doesn't distract. Set up transcription on that leg and 
also add a dub track on that leg. So now I've got two, two tracks. Each uh, party to the call has the normal audio they're getting, which is just bridged audio from the other party. And they've got another track into which I can insert translator audio. That's it. We then just start getting transcriptions during the call. If I get a transcription from the A leg, I translate it and I send it to the B leg by using this inject command, inject some audio onto the B leg into the specific audio track that I've created. Same thing for the B leg. If I get a transcription from the B leg, then I take that audio, translate it, put it onto the A leg. And the translation function is just a simple Google Translate cloud. The choice of languages and recognizers to use is configurable through environment variables. So I'm using DeepGran to, to be the speech recognizer for English, and I'm using Microsoft to be the speech recognizer for Vietnamese. And I'm using Microsoft for both Vietnamese and English for the text-to-speech, but that can be changed to any of the many um, speech vendors that we support. And that's it. That's a good use of uh, our new DubTrack feature to enable speech um, translation. The dub tracks are often also used for things like providing ambient background noise if you wanted your bot to sound like it's a person in a call center. That's another good use of playing some music into a dub track on a background noise. That's all for now. Thanks and have a great day. <laughs>